Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, no makeup because it's gonna be an exhausting repotting day and ain't nobody got time for that. I'm still in my PJs. I got some sweatpants on. I have a hole in my sweatpants. If you see it, don't call me out on it. I also have a ton of plants here that need to be repotted and I'm squinting because while it's January in Arizona, the sun is still bright, guys. It's still bright. This is what we're repotting today and we're also gonna be answering a few questions that you guys asked me over on Instagram the other day. So thank you for everybody that asked some questions. I got some pretty fun ones. And let me show you what we're gonna be repotting today. We have a Zamani tree, which is infested with fungus gnats. We need to repot this girl, get her in a bigger pot. We're gonna put her over in this one here. We got this agave potatorum, not sure but it's beautiful. And we have some hanging baskets here that we're gonna use because over by the pool area, she's gonna hang one like all over there. So anyway, we'll show you when we're done. Then we have this crazy aloe, this aloe fire ranch, pretty cool. And then we have a, I'm not sure if that's an aloe or a Haworthia, I think it's an aloe. Anyway, this pot's too big for this. So we're gonna take this out, put it in this one, take this little sedum out, put it over there. And then we got this guy, which is a, oh, chocolate fingers. Mm, can't pronounce that, but that's what that is. It's really cool. It's got like purple in there. And then we're gonna take this watch chain out of here. This is a watch chain. And we're gonna put this into this planter here. It's been in there for a while. It's growing like crazy. And then these two guys here, actually four guys, one of them is split, which I showed you guys on Instagram. We're gonna take this out, check the roots, see what we have to do. And I might just put two in this pot and then two in that pot there. And we're using black gold cactus mix today. All right, let's set up shop. This mic, I tell you. Anyway, I wasn't wearing my mic when I was showing you the plants and now I'm trying to do it so that it doesn't get dirty. But anyway, this setup is quite interesting. <laughs> So I have my mom's little gardening stool here and we have like a towel down. It's pretty crazy, but the sun is so strong. I really hope that you guys could see me and the plant. And I know that it's a little, the light's coming in here. So I hope we can do this before this is covered in sun. I am using rubber like latex gloves today, guys, because I have a cut on my finger. The agave I showed you when I was searching in Home Depot for the perfect one. I sliced my finger open. I don't want to get soil in the cut because it's still pretty fresh. And I took the band-aid off last night just to let it breathe because I feel like if you wear a band-aid for too long, it's like this way I won't have to wash my hands when I'm done. <laughs> well, I will, but you know what I mean. I also forgot my cell phone that has all the questions on it. Hey mom, where is my phone? I should go find it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I got my phone and conveniently enough, you can scroll with latex gloves on. Now, once it's time to repot the cacti, I got my stepdad's handy dandy mechanical gloves. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna pull up your questions here and we're gonna get started. Cheese curds, fried or fresh? Cheese curds. This question is from someone in Wisconsin, clearly. I think I'm gonna say fresh because I think I've only had them fresh. So if you've had cheese curds fried, I'm sure you guys are telling me like, oh my God, you need to get the fried cheese curds. But yeah, I've only had them maybe once or twice, actually. I have my soil over here, by the way. I haven't really experienced cheese curds in a way that most people in Wisconsin have. I also have a bucket. I'm gonna be throwing all of my garbage. I'm very prepared today, I am. Okay, so these roots look really good, actually. You guys can see that. They are really thin, but that is usual for watch chain plants. I'm just gonna tease them up a smidge. Of course, she just watered this, so that's just, <laughs> makes it great for repotting, you know? All right, now we need to do some backfilling and let's ask another question. Are you interested at all in vivariums, terrariums, or paludariums? Paludariums? If so, do you have any? I probably would not have understood this question if I was not on, I mean, I know what a terrarium is, but I probably wouldn't understand this question if I wasn't on Becca's live video yesterday. Apparently these are like fish tank setups, right? That have all these like, like little live 
plants in them and you're pretty much creating a space for all of your plants and maybe reptiles. I don't know. I do not have any and I don't have any interest in it. I know this is a new thing. I'm getting soil everywhere, but you know, it doesn't matter. I got it set up to just, you know, dump on the floor here. I just threw soil at my camera. Fabulous. Give it a little tap, tap, tap. There we go. That's it. It's in there. Some of them are looking a little wonky, but it's all right, it's all right. Okay, one down. We're gonna move on to this one. Gosh, the soil, it's okay. I'm just gonna, might be an eyesore, but sorry. How do you take your coffee? I like my coffee with cream and sugar. So I have a K-cup machine and I brew K-cups and it's usually something from Starbucks brand, but right now I'm actually doing a Krispy Kreme brand. It's really good. I typically like medium blend roasts, like the house blend from Starbucks is a good one for me. I don't really like dark roast. It's just too strong. Oh, look at this. Look at those roots. Can we see them? This is kind of hard to handle. There's a few in there. I want to keep it together. I need more soil. Ah, dang it. This one literally just came out. I wonder if it was even, it didn't break just fell out of the center. And look at, like they're kind of wrinkly. I really hope that doesn't die. So I do like cream and sugar. Like if I'm at a restaurant, I'll ask for cream and sugar, but I get the coffee creamers, like the, I get Almond Bliss coffee creamer. And that has, it's like cream and it's got sugar in it, which is probably bad because it's probably way too much sugar than I need in my coffee. <laughs> but, I love it. And it's so convenient to just like pour the creamer in there. Okay, this is really weird. I'm gonna have to like push these down. I need to backfill it a little bit. I didn't check the roots at the store. I just kind of like grabbed it. It was at the checkout and I was like, this is cute. And we like checked out. Have you made any arrangements of various succulents in a shallow terracotta bowl? That's a very specific question. <laughs> And yes, I have. Um, I will leave a link to that video up here so you guys can watch it after this if you want. It was it was like a mixture of succulents and aloe. It came out really cute. I was inspired by Laura from Garden Answer because I feel like she's always doing stuff like that. It came out really cute. I ended up, after the summertime, it grew pretty big. I ended up repotting them into separate containers and they're still doing pretty good. I think I may have only lost like one because um, I had to bring it in and it was just too big and overgrown for me to put anywhere, so I repotted it. If soil is in the crevices of an aloe, will it dis disturb the growth of the plant? That's a really good question. And then the one right after that was, how do you keep your crevices on your succulents clean? I'm not quite sure if it would affect the growth of it. You know, aloe grows in the wild out here in Arizona and it's definitely not cleaned. <laughs> I would say keep it as clean as you can. I mean, anytime dust or soil gets on the foliage, it can kind of clog its pores. Although aloe is very, it's a very hardy plant, depending on what kind of aloe it is. I don't, I don't really see it disturbing the, the growth process of it. But like I'm doing right now, I'm kind of getting like some soil in the crevices there. And what I like to do is I like to take a paintbrush, like a thin paintbrush, especially with succulents. And I'll just kind of get in there and just brush it off with a soft paintbrush. This is actually looking really cute. I like that, I think we're good. I might type, top these off with some stone to give it a little decorative touch. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna shake this towel off here. Move on to the next question. And I think I'm going to go on to the other two little guys. Let me grab them. My mom has these pots that are insanely heavy. They're gorgeous. She got them at the Home Depot out here, but they're really heavy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's a huge distraction, but I'll scooch over here. Is that okay? Would you switch cactus collections with your mom? Uh, I'm just gonna take these out of here and then I will take this pot down so it's not like in the way. Ooh, this has some roots to it. Wow, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at these roots on this. Holy, oh, and it's got a little pup baby here. Look at that. Wow, you guys, look at how stuff grows out here. And these roots are thick. She's thick. Then we're gonna pop this out. This has a decent root system too. Look at that. She loves succulents, but it's really hard to keep them alive out here. One, two, three. Ugh. 
would I switch cacti collections with my mom? Honestly, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Okay, we're gonna do some switching around here. Because these roots are so thick and large, I think I'm gonna take this out of this one. Yeah, because this is bigger. I'm gonna put this into this pot so that I could put the aloe in this one, which is fine. Just a little switcheroo. Would I switch cactus collections with my mom for the millionth time because I can't answer this question? I would not. I have a lot of like weird different cacti. I do like her bigger ones. Like she has a serious spiralis and it's gorgeous, but she doesn't have a lot. I mean, she has like succulents and stuff. She doesn't have a ton of cacti potted. So I feel like no, like cause I have some pretty unique cacti in my collection. There guys, that's perfect. And then we can put the aloe in here. So yeah, no, I don't think I would. She's only been out here going on two years in April. So, I mean, if she gets more, I mean, we might have to reassess, but I don't think so. I don't think I ever will want to. I am jealous of how stuff grows out here though. I'll tell you that. These roots are so healthy. Oh my gosh. Apparently that pot wasn't too big for it. Okay, let me get another question going here. My dream place to travel. I don't know if it's so much like a dream anymore, I would still really love to go, but when I was younger, I always wanted to go to Brazil. And now thinking about it, like rainforests, oh my gosh. I'm, it's, I'm sure it's just unbelievably gorgeous out there. But I do hear it's pretty dangerous out there, so I'm not sure. Hi, Beach. Hi. Wanna say hi to the camera? Say hi. DJ, say hi. What are you doing? Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi to the camera? Oh, you a good girl. No kisses. Are you gonna go by daddy? By daddy. <laughs> How cute is that? See the soil in there? So I just gotta kinda get in there with a little paintbrush. Watering it'll take it off too, but it's gonna be happy in there. Yeah, so I would probably go to Brazil if I could. I really do wanna go to Australia and Germany I hear is really pretty. Okay, we're almost on to the big ones. Favorite Starbucks drink. My favorite Starbucks drink is iced soy grande caramel macchiato. Again, loaded with sugar, that is bad for me. When I go to Starbucks, that's what I get. Unless it is like October, September, October, then it's pumpkin spice latte, guys, cause I'm basic. All the way, pumpkin spice latte. They should just offer pumpkin spice lattes all year. Am I right? That makes me mad. This is adorable. Isn't it cute? I have to do some updates on these when I come back in March. Be surprised at how fast things grow out here, like for real. Ooh, should we do the fungus gnat infested money tree? That's gonna have to go on the ground. When I picked it up, she has these two little decorative angels in it. I took the angels out and there was like seven fungus gnats on those angels. And I was just smashing them with my hands. I told her, I was like, you're keeping it too damp. Let it dry out halfway. I do know that you know, money trees do like the humidity and they do like to be not dried out, but, oh, I'm gonna have to show you. You guys. Hey, mom, can you get the hydrogen peroxide? I mean, there are a lot of fungus gnats in here. Oh my God. Uh, there's a spider in there too, which is fantastic. And there's a spider in it. Oh no. <laughs> Spider. Should I do it in the, in the rocks? Yeah, right? Water it in the rocks? Yeah, you don't wanna get that wet. BRB. Okay, we're back. What we did was we took it out of the pot and we literally just doused it with some water and hydrogen peroxide and made sure all the fungus gnats were off of it. It was infected. We're just gonna pop this little guy up here. I like how it's twisted, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And it's so healthy. So let's put it in here. Oh, the sun. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I love it. And then we're gonna top it off with some stones too. Cute, she cute. Okay, go over there. Um, what are we gonna do next? I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do the hanging baskets next so we can get those going. And the sun is creeping in, guys. Oof, if I can't finish this today, I will do it off camera, just cause the sun's ridiculous out here. And I'll show you guys like an update of where they're at and like where they're placed early tomorrow morning, just so you can kind of see 
the finished product. But anyway, I just thought that it was cute. It was like the nicest hanging basket and I like that it's shallow because the other ones were pretty deep. I'm wondering if I should do it up here. Let's see how this looks. What I'm gonna do is just put these over these gloves. Double gloving. <laughs> well, let me fill it with soil first. And let's get another question going, shall we? Watch you don't stab yourself. Okay. It's large, it's larger than life. Would you ever consider a planty tattoo? Yes, I would. There's a couple tattoos that I might want to cover up. This is this says love. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have my name in Thai. Don't ask me why. I just liked it. Um, I might cover that up with like a leaf of some sort and like have it coming up my arm. I thought that would be cute. Maybe on my other foot. I have birds on one foot and I thought maybe like on my other ankle to my foot. Maybe like, not string of pearls, but something that's like trailing. I'm at that stage with tattoos where it's like, I have a lot and I don't know, like I, I want it to, to mean something. I don't want to just get another tattoo just to get another tattoo. Cause we get to that point where we have a lot and then we're just like, what else should I get? You know, and it doesn't matter. I'm putting some soil in here. Sorry guys, I know this is kind of in the way, but better up here than down there. Cause then you can't see anything. Let's get this out of here. I need my other gloves. Easy me. <laughs> And let's do another question. This is not an easy thing, like reading my own questions while I'm repotting. Would I ever want to open up a floral or plant shop? I don't know, guys. I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to plants. Like, I mean, I know enough basics, I guess. I need to roll this, hold on. Sorry, I gotta do it down here. Um, I feel like I don't know enough to open up my own plant shop. But if I hired somebody that did know a lot and I just kind of focused on getting the plants and being present and taking care of the plants and all that fun stuff, I just feel like I would hate to open up a shop and like not be able to answer anybody's questions. Again, I can answer basic stuff, obviously. But yeah, I would love to. I just, Chicago, like rent in Chicago for a commercial space is ridiculous. I know a lot of people do it online, but I don't know. There's something about opening up an actual storefront that is more appealing to me than doing something online. Ooh, look at these roots. Look at that. See it? You see it? Brings a tear to your eye. Okay, I'm gonna backfill it down here. Maybe I can lower the camera a smidgen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> call. I mean, do you really need to see the top of my head? No, you don't. My hair is not done. Okay, let me backfill this. Answer another question. How young are you? <laughs> that sounds sweet. <laughs> I'm 36. I'll be 37 May 21st. Mark your calendars, everybody. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where the past 10 years went, to be honest. My mom's gonna be 61 this Saturday, and she don't look a day over 50. We're going to dinner on Saturday, so I'm excited about that, because this place we're going to is called The Keg in Queen Creek. Anybody ever been? It's delish. They have really great seafood. They have amazing um, tuna, seared tuna. Seared tuna, ooh, it's delicious. I might get that as an appetizer. I don't know. Hold on, sorry, I'm gonna block the camera. I think that's good, and then I'm gonna put stone around it, okay? She is cute, y'all, she's cute. Right? Am I right? Oh, <laughs> there's a ton of soil on there. This is where that paintbrush comes in handy. Now, I'm gonna take both of these out of here. There's two plants in there. We're gonna plant one of these in each of the other hanging baskets. Next question. Hi, Miley. Where are you going? Oh, wait, my, oh. She just walked right past it, got poked. Do you have any plants living outside and can they stand the heat? DJ. What do you want? Hi. Hello, it's your little girl. I don't live in Arizona. I live in Chicago. My mom lives in Arizona and my stepdad, but not me. Nope, 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 not me. But they do have a ton of plants outside and they can withstand the heat. The landscape out here is very, very resilient to the heat. There's a lot of cacti, there's a lot of palm trees, hardy bushes, um, 
As far as house plants go, it's mainly like succulents and cacti. She loves elephant bush succulents. I love your vlog style videos and will you be filming more of them? Actually, I really wanted to vlog my entire trip out here because I do have some plans coming up. Tomorrow I'm going shopping with um, one of my friends. We're gonna go to some plant shops and then we're meeting another friend for lunch and going to some more plant shops. And then Sunday I'm meeting some more friends and we're going to the botanical gardens. So I really wanted to vlog it, but I was the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? I did videos with these people before already, so you might know who they are. And I really wanted to just kind of be present in the moment here. So this video is probably gonna be going up by the time I'm back in Chicago, so this will all be irrelevant at that time. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I post a lot in my stories of like what I'm doing and it's definitely more vlog style. So if you're interested in knowing like stuff about my life and like what else I'm doing, definitely follow me on Instagram because there's more of that there. Oh, hello. Oh, hi girl, how you doing? Wow. The roots on these guys, incredible. So back to vlogging. I really wanted to do some vlogging, but the more I thought about it, the more I just wanted to be present with them and just kind of hang out with them, you know, enjoy the botanical gardens. When you're doing vlogs, and I do want to share everything with you guys, but when you're doing vlog style videos, it's very difficult to take time to vlog. If You feel like you constantly need to have your camera on you. And when Jay and I took a road trip down to California, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here. We visited my mom for his birthday a few weeks ago. And then we took a road trip to LA and it was so much fun. But for both of us, we were both kind of like, oh my gosh, cause he's got his channel too. If you're not following him or subscribed to him, his The Boca Junkies, I'll leave it at the bottom of the screen here. He also did a video. So we were just kind of like, oh my God, I'm so done. By the time we were, you know, editing, we were just like, oh man, we gotta come back to LA and really see LA and do things in LA. But it was so much fun and I'm really glad. It's kind of like a catch 22 because I love documenting it and I love looking back at it and, and having that footage to be able to look back on. But like I said, at the same time, it's like, what's that happy balance of spending time with your family or your friends and like really taking in the moments, you know? I decided this time that I wasn't going to do it, but I will be posting on my stories. So definitely follow me on Instagram. Oh yeah, I need more soil. This is so cool. This is gonna grow so awesome in here. I'm excited. I love just enjoying her plants when I'm here and seeing them grow because if you wanna see aloe and succulents and cacti grow fast, visit someone in Arizona. Seriously, like they just grow so fast out here. Were you intimidated when you started your YouTube channel? Did my mic turn off? My mic died. This audio is gonna be all over the place, you guys. I'm so sorry. I hope it's okay. Feel the weight to this. Do you wanna put stone on here or do you wanna just leave it soil? No, no stone because of the weight. Okay. Yeah. So then we'll leave it just like I mean, this. It's just gonna be around there anyway, you can't see it. And right, you right. See it okay, I think that this is good then. Cause the roots are really in there. Were you intimidated starting your YouTube channel? Yes and no. Um, I'm gonna say more so probably yes. I was excited about it, but. <sighs> what the f Seriously? Okay guys. <sighs> Little malfunction. It's getting windy and I don't want to repop this last big one here on camera because I don't have a setup that's gonna properly allow me to do that because the sun is creeping in. So when I am done with this, I'm gonna pop back on and we're gonna show you where everything's hanging and how everything's repotted and I will do a final overhaul. So give me a minute. Okay, I grabbed some lunch, I finished repotting, we put everything where it's gonna go, and now let me show you where everything's at. Here is the little aloe on the table there. Here is the watch chain on the table as well. Succulent sedum guy, and the, what was this called again? Shoot, I gotta get the label, but that looks good there. Then this cactus joined the party over here. She's got a bunch of succulents here, and this is where this one is. I think it looks great with the stone. There's one of the 
aloes, and then the other one is right there. I think it looks great. This one is going to be hanging right in between those two little window pane things, but when they went to go hang it up, the shepherd's hook broke. So, but that's the final product there. Here is the other double cactus. This is in their front window. Last but not least, we have a Zimani tree. I thought that this pot was just a little too big for it, so we only filled it up about three fourths of the way, added some stone to the top. And once the roots get, you know, more established in there, then we'll add more soil, but it didn't need it. So look at this brand new leaf. <sighs> okay, I apologize for that vacuum. It's gonna be going for a while. A glass just fell out of the cabinet and shattered all over the place. So she's in a great mood. <laughs> uh, thanks so much guys for joining me in this video. Oh, it stopped. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your questions. I hope I answered them okay. I'm sorry I couldn't get to everybody's questions. There were a ton, but I appreciate you guys asking. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.